In this bag is the Super Antenna MP1. Uh, at the moment I've got the coil for 40 to 10 meters. So I'll show you what's in the bag. I have 15 meters of RG58 coax cable, about 45 feet, and I've uh, wrapped it in yellow tape so uh, people in the public um, don't trip on it, basically. More, more of a safety thing than anything else. In this pocket is the coil, um, the actual Super Antenna MP1 uh, coil. So you adjust the coil um, to change, uh, basically to match the antenna uh, on the bands you want. So I'll show you how to set that up in a minute. In this pocket, I usually have the Nano VNA, um, but at the moment uh, it's in the backpack because I was charging it and just threw it in last minute. Over here is the mount for the antenna. It's got SO239 and a, uh, I think it's called a 3.8 mount. And over here is where you attach the, the radials. And this is where the tripod fits into. It's got a 3.8 and also a normal quarter, so you can use any sort of tripod for that. This is the super, this is, well, this is the guide to the super antenna. So for example, um, if I wanted to use the antenna on 20 meters, you measure from the base to the top. And uh, so I need to raise it a little bit more to 14 megahertz. So that's, well, that's 13 megahertz. So you drop it a little bit. Again, I'll show how to set it up later, but that's basically how you use the guide. This is the small telescopic whip that goes at the top of the antenna. These two are called extension rods. They go at the bottom of the antenna. And in here is a ground spike. So this connects to the mount like this. And then this goes in the ground, so I don't really need to bring a tripod with me. It's, uh, it's quite an effective portable solution. Okay. And in this pocket, I have two sets of radials, one each for 40, 20, 15 and 10 meters. So effectively two radials for each band. And a C-clamp. So if I find a bench or a table, I don't need the ground spike, I can just clamp the mount to the bench or a table. So now I'm going to set up the Super Antenna MP1. Uh, it'll probably take around five minutes or even less. It's very, very straightforward to do. I'm going to put the coax and the radial to the side for a second. And this is all you need for the antenna. You connect the two extension rods together by twisting them. You attach this to the base of the super antenna. This is nice and secure. Attach the telescopic whip to the top of the antenna. Your ground spike. Thread that through. And where am I going to, I'll set it up right in front of me. You want to push that in nice and firmly into the ground. Okay, like so. Next, attach the antenna to the mount by threading it. It's nice and secure. Next, Extend fully the telescopic whip, and the final adjustment uh, to the slider we made after I put the radials on and measure the SWR. The next thing to do is unwrap the coax. I use these. Uh, Velcro wraps, they're very, very handy to keep everything together. I normally, I take 15 meters with me because it's better to have more coax than less. Um, I 
to be honest, I could do with 10 or even 5 meters because I'm operating fairly close um, with a ground spike. So connect the coax. For this demonstration, I'll just use one set of counterpoise wires because it's quicker. So I have them here on a kite winder. So what we want to do is unwrap the wire, connect the spade connector to one of the spade connectors on the mount, and then simply unwind the radials. <laughs> unwind the radials. This is honestly the, the trickiest part um, and this is also why I hate wire antennas because it's just too, they're too fiddly for me. Right, so that's unraveled. Ideally what you want to have is the, well I've read that people say um, put the counterpoises in the directions of, of the um, places that you want to work. I usually just throw them out in a fan shape. So I'll spray them out in the fan shape and then uh, come back to you. So using the frequency um, adjust guide, I've set the super antenna coil to this height. Right, so after adjusting the super antenna to the correct height, the SWR on the 20 meter band uh, is around 1.2 to one, uh, which is very, very acceptable.